Hi, so this is just an update on the Thermal Forever battery. Actually, I'm going to go down the swag road, but this was so easy to do, I thought it'd be a shame not to do it and see what we got in terms of results. So what we did, obviously, was take a piece of plastic, put a couple of copper strips down it, and paint it with um, the FWG conductive ink. So that's all that is. And I painted 10 of those and put them into a tank, stuck in some copper chloride, and you can see we're generating a voltage there. It's uh, across a 10 ohm resistor, so that uh, 0.4567 volts is uh, about 54, 55 milliamps that it's generating. Now there's 100 grams of copper chloride in 15 litres of water there, and it's 18 degrees centigrade here. It apparently works better with a bit more copper chloride being saturated, and if the temperature goes up then you generate more out of it. But I thought that was really fascinating. So it's just simply 10 of the sheets painted up with that graphene ink and sat in a tank of um, copper, copper chloride. Now, I'm obviously going to go down the swag road, so I'm not going to um, pursue this very much. I'm going to leave it as an aside. It may be I get back to it next year or something like that. So if anybody's particularly fascinated by that, please feel free. It's, it's an excellent idea. It's not mine. It's the Chinese. And I just think it's brilliant. So there we go. I'm going to do another video on the constructional details of this, so there's a bit more in and out of it for the people who are following the swag. Um, but if you're following the thermal battery, this is a little aside for you, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching.